Hi, I'm John from NewYorkMusical.com and today I'm going to show you how to tune your snare drum. So to tune your snare drum you need a few things. You're going to need a drum key, obviously. I use two because it's easier and faster to get the, the old head off. Um, you're going to need a pair of sticks to test the drum when you're done. And you're going to need a pencil with a good eraser on it. Um, now you're also going to have some kind of carpeted surface, something that's going to mute the bottom head for when you're tuning the top. Um, now we're going to take the old head off and for our purposes here, this is a brand new snare drum with a brand new head. So we're just going to take this head off and then we're going to put this head back on um, since it is brand new. So, using the two drum keys, you're going to take opposite lugs. And just take those lugs off. Between the drum. Okay. So, we're going to take the rim off. You can leave the tension rods in there. And we're going to remove the old head. So, we're going to take this, put this off to the side here for now. And we're going to take the old head, we're going to put that off to the side until we need it to be used as a new head. And um, just take your hand, wipe off the, the bearing edge here, make sure there's no dust, uh, make sure it's clean. Um, then we're going to take our new head, like so, for our new head. Lay it on. Just turn it until you feel it kind of seat nice. Take your hoop, place it back on, line up your tension rods, and finger tighten all around. Okay, now we have all those lugs and tension rods finger tight. You're going to notice the head's a little bit loose on top. That's okay. What you want to actually do now, push down on the center of the head, stretch it out, go back over, finger tight everything again. Now we can start to tune. Okay, so to start tuning your snare drum, um, you're going to take your pencil with a good eraser, tap it in the center. She has a really, really low tone. Um, so what we're going to do to start getting at the tension is we're going to take our key, and in a star pattern around the drum, um, you're going to go opposite lugs. So get one lug close to you, tighten that, about a full turn, and then go to the lug opposite. And come back to the lug to the left, just to the left of the first lug you tuned. And then across. And then across again. And then across. Across. You get the idea. Okay, now we've got some tension on this snare. You actually have quite a bit of tension on the snare. So, um, you're going to put your finger in the center of the drum and start going around to the different lugs, about an inch away from the rim, and tapping. is to have all those sound pretty close to the same um, which right now they do so top head is in pretty good shape you want to make sure it's tight enough so you have a good bounce um, to get different snare sounds you can take a little bit of tension out add a little bit of tension 
uh, add a little tension for a higher crack, um, take a little bit of tension out for a really heavy bottom. Um, but all in all, this is the way it's tuned right now is a pretty good, even, uh, all purpose snare tuning. So let's talk about the bottom head of the snare for a little bit. Um, as you can see, it's a lot different from the bottom head of a tom tom or get the resonant side of the bass drum. Um, you have a very, very thin head on the bottom here. It needs to be very thin uh, to be sensitive for the snares to vibrate against it. Um, <clears throat> you have 20 strands of snare here. Uh, there are all different kinds of snares. You have 20 strand, 16 strand, 42 strand, um, and each one produces a different kind of sound. Um, the snares are held on. Uh, they attach to the strainer, which is here. This turns the snares on and off. And they attach to the butt plate, which is holds the other end. These snares are put on with cord. Um, you can use cord, shoelace. Uh, they make plastic strips that you can also use to hold the snare on. Um, and when you're when you're putting snares in the bottom head, let me just show you. Now, on the strainer here, you'll see this little adjustment tool um, that basically tightens and loosens uh, the snare. So it actually drops this down and up. Um, to increase or decrease tension. Uh, and you want to make sure that that's somewhere in the middle um, so you have some play on either end. <clears throat> and what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that your snares are hanging so that they're all very, very close to being perfectly in between uh, both sides of the snare, uh, of the, the shell here. And you'll see um, that there is uh, what's called a snare bed cut. Probably hard to see on the camera, but there's usually a, some kind of snare bed cut on either side um, for the for the snare cord or the snare um, plastic strips to rest in. So when it comes to tuning the bottom head, you don't tune it conventionally like you would tune a tom tom head or uh, or even the top snare drum head. Um, the way you tune the bottom snare drum head uh, is relative to how much snare sensitivity you want. So to increase snare sensitivity what you're actually going to do is you're going to take these four tension tension rods, the ones on either side of the throw off and the ones on either side of the butt plate and you're going to loosen them um, so they just grab in, into the lug. Now this snare may sound a little harsh but this is really for demonstration purposes here. And then you're going to take these lugs and you're going to tighten them up. Okay, so now you're here, you'll hear the snares really grab them pretty good. They almost sound kind of harsh. So what we want to do is we want to take some of that sensitivity out a little bit. Um, we're going to tighten these guys up a little. And we're going to loosen these guys up a little. We're going to back them off a little bit. Now this could take quite a while to get this right. Um, you know, it's a lot of a lot of trial and error. You know, tune it, test it, tune it, test it. That's a little bit more to my liking. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up the snares just a little bit until they come up to me. Put it on a stand. So after a little bit of fine tuning and adjustment, I finally got this snare drum uh, to my liking. Uh, and when you find you do the same, when you've gotten it to where you want it to be, you're done tuning.
Um, so I just want to take a minute to talk about the snare drum that we just tuned today. Um, this is a 6x14 uh, handmade custom snare uh, from Wisdom Drums, a uh, local New Jersey drum company. Um, this is their badge here, it's kind of cool, it's got a little dragon on it. Uh, 6x14, like I said, it's curly maple shell, um, beautifully finished, beautifully done. Um, 7 ply snare shell, um, like I said, all maple all the way through. Uh, Camco style lugs, really nice. Uh, Camco style throw off, has a really, really nice feel, very solid. Um, 20 strand snares, like I mentioned before, put on with cord, really nice. Um, brand new attack drum head uh, on the batter side, uh, brand new attack snare side head. Um, and like I said, this, this drum is available on our website. Uh, it sells for about $3.99. It is one of a kind. It's the only one of its kind. You heard it. I tuned it. Uh, you know it sounds good. Um, so, like I said, this and uh, many other musical accessories for tuning, for playing, uh, all that stuff you can find on our website um, for the best possible prices around. Um, for NewYorkMusical.com, this is John. Thanks for watching.